all right what's going on guys so i have actually done all these from my other channel my crv underscore tom channel but that is more uh uh focused towards uh vehicles and you know my cars and other people's and projects like that and stuff so when i was first starting off that channel i just kind of threw everything together because I, I didn't want to run two different channels at that time when i hadn't even hit my goal for that channel yet um Although that channel, the goal is always, you know, going higher and higher. So I actually want to do a video on this separate because I've had these boxed up for a while after I got my Xbox Series X, which I have a video unboxing that and my PS5, both on my other channel. And I think I have the PS5 in this channel too. I have to go back and check. Um, but I'm actually going to give my son right now has, as you guys saw in the other video, if you paid attention to that video or watch that one. Uh, my son has the Xbox, my old Xbox One X, and then I got this Cyberpunk Xbox One X at the time when it was the big thing, and Cyberpunk was supposed to be oh so great, and was an epic failure right off the bat, especially for uh, non-next-gen systems at that time. Even though it was released, you know, the PS5 and Xbox Series X was not out, and even for PC it wasn't so great at that time. Now, skip forward to 2022, almost going to 2023. Uh, it is phenomenal on my Series X. Very fun game, and I just started playing it again. I actually waited and waited and waited. I started playing it with so many glitches, bugs, and I just said, forget it. I'm going to wait. And it has been worth the wait, and I started playing it now. But now the update for Witcher 3 came out to port it Series X, and I'm playing that again because I love the Witcher 3. Uh, I loved all the Witchers, but of course, Wild Hunt is a great one. Uh, so, but you're not here for that. You're here for this to check out the Cyberpunk Xbox. So I have the 20, Cyberpunk 2077 extra controller. I'm going to do these in separate videos to kind of shorten the time. And then I actually bought the Steel Series uh, Cyberpunk 2077 um, Johnny Silverhand Edition. Um, and I was using this gray headset and then I got the upgraded uh, Steel Series. So... I'm going to do some separate videos on that, and I'm actually giving these to my son. Uh, he, he wants this one for now, and the other Xbox One X I have is going to my daughter. And they're going to use these because the Xbox One X is still pretty decent. Uh, it's a little bit better than the Series S in a lot of areas, actually, still. Uh, but not nowhere near as good as the um, Series X. Uh, but once everything catches up i want to grab them a series x but for now they're gonna to have to deal with the xbox one x so my daughter is still using the fortnite edition xbox one s and it is just too slow now and and does not keep up at least the xbox one x still kind of keep up with things they like to play a lot of fortnite so unfortunately you know fortnite is still a big game now and definitely has a lot of updates and performs much better on the next gen consoles but uh, this will work and be a big boost for her and and for him. He'll he already has one, but he'll like this edition. Um, and I'm just gonna hang on to him and keep him. So uh, my son takes pretty good care of stuff, so not too worried about it. Um, and my daughter takes good care of stuff too. So when they're done, I'll probably put them all back in the box. And who knows, maybe one day throw them up in eBay or something. But probably just keep them. Uh, but I wanted to show this in the video and so I apologize you guys are having the front face camera So the quality won't be as good, but I Got too much shit all over my desk and I'm not gonna be able to uh, Set up my normal setup that I do so sorry, but it's still Significant enough. It does good. Yeah, a little bit of backlighting here. So Here it is still in the box. I have already unboxed this. I don't unfortunately have a black light one of you guys have this if you actually get a black light, uh, I used to have one. I just need to grab another bowl, but I don't have one right now. There's actually like a little hidden message in here. And I'm not going to go over everything. If you guys know, you know, the Xbox One X, it's been out for quite a while. It's still a pretty impressive system, in my opinion. Um, just like PS4 Pro was, you know, I actually think these were a little bit better uh, than my Pro, but. Um, this is just cool because now that the game's actually doing much better, I think these are going back up in value a little bit on eBay. So we're going to take this off and I'm just going to talk a little bit through it, but I ain't going to talk too much because I just want to show it off. Uh, and this does come on a digital copy of Cyberpunk, but, um, 
I already redeemed it and I'm using it on my Series X. But the box, the, the whole design in this box is freaking cool. So I just love the way they did the design of this system. And I think this was the last, pretty sure, not 100% sure, because it's been a little bit. This came out in 2019. Um, but I believe this was the last special Xbox One X. And honestly, since we got the Series X and Series S, because of parts and, and I think just parts and funding and everything else for the projects that they do for them, they're just making such a loss on consoles that they haven't even done any special cool consoles other than I think on the Series X they did the Halo Infinite one, which was cool. I couldn't get my hands on. But I think that's it, if I can remember right. All the rest are, yeah, they got a bundle game, but there's no real design or specialty to the console. So, unfortunately, I think this generation for PS5 and Xboxes, we're just not going to get anything really cool, which kind of sucks. Maybe one or two here, but Xbox One had a lot of cool ones, not as much. 360 had a ton of cool ones. I remember those days, and a lot of the older consoles did too. Um, so, we're going to open it up right here. So, right away, when you open up top, you guys can see that it says Cyberpunk 2077. Again, like I said, this this is just a cool, really cool box. And I think they really went out with it because it was their last setup. So, you guys, I'll tip it. You guys look right there. You can see they put a bunch of design of Xbox One and Cyberpunk. You pull this out like a lot of the Xbox Ones had. A little pamphlet here. And this had go back over this it's been a while since I looked in this it's basically just showing you how to set up your Xbox one X and how you want to set it up and if you want to do it on the stand it's telling you you know showing you step by step what you want to do and that slides back in here and then I believe I got an Xbox ultimate game pass uh, which I don't think I use, but honestly, this one I will probably give to my son. Uh, because, as we all know, Game Pass has become ridiculously expensive. I think this was downloaded on the game already, or on the system, yeah. Yep, so I already had this anyways, there was no code. Uh, it just kind of came with, you know, saying, hey, you get one free month uh, with the game and all that. And I didn't like that these games were digital. Um... I'm not a fan of digital, if you guys watch my channel, I really don't like it. Uh, to me, it's just pulling away your rights and just more control over them. And the people that support it, it just blows my mind because I've dealt with it for years since Xbox 360 days and I've seen licensing issues happen and games disappear and, and you don't get your game back after you pay the money. Plus, there's no resale value. Uh, plus, as a collector's person, I like to open physical things and own things, and if something happens, I can sell it or if I want to trade it. I just don't understand the appeal, other than being lazy for digital. That's straight up my opinion. If you don't like it, you can stop following me. Uh, but here's the Cyberpunk, basically, card. It's telling you it's the digital direct version. You don't even get a code for it. It's directly downloaded on the system, and then you can connect it to your account. Uh, again, it is what it is, but still cool packaging. You can see it there. I'm going to lay this over here and we are going to pull out the controller first and the controller box. So again, awesome design, awesome samurai design, basically, um, you know, his samurai style skin whatever you want to call it in the game uh this is just really cool you open it up like this another thing i thought was really neat you got it in there and you actually got a like neon green hdmi cable which i thought was pretty neat so that's cool i always liked that when i was using this system uh, take a little protector off now I've already opened this controller it actually had a little bag of course it had little instructions on how to use the controller I'm not sure if you guys have one but the controller is definitely really cool um, 
I did use it. It was used a little bit. Not bad shape at all, but you can see all it's designed. This is actually like scratched into there. The No Future is actually scratched into there. And then you have the RIG Rig X T7 Pro down in the bottom. See if it can focus in. There you go. And a lot of the stuff on this controller, I love the black with red buttons. You got the power button. Of course, you have your Windows button or your you know, multiple windows, square button, whatever you want to call it. And then the, the three lines, I always call it the start button. Yeah, normal D-pad, but I always liked how you have the red uh, analog stick here and the black, you know. And then you have silver padding and black padding. Same thing with the buttons, red and black. And then even on the back, you had the 2077 and then a URL code to actually scan, which was kind of cool. I never actually scanned it. I'm assuming it just pulls up everything, so I don't know. Maybe you guys know, you can tell me in the comments if it had any special significance. Uh, but you have the grips too, the little grippies on here, which I love on the Xbox controllers. I had those on a few of mine and absolutely love it. Uh, the buttons on here always felt really good, honestly. I had the Elite Series 1 and the Elite Series 2. I don't have the white Elite Series, but at that time when I had the Elite Series 2, the, the bumper buttons were always junk, man. They always ended up breaking and have problems. And this controller did really nice. Um, I think they fixed it along the right way. I'm hoping that that new Elite Series and the Halo one they had and all that, people aren't having those problems. But I haven't messed around with them enough, so I don't really know. But again, just the way that everything was packaged in this, this uh, system was just much better even than the Xbox One X that I had already. Uh, and then this power cord, you know, nothing you guys really need to see on that. So, sliding that back in. And right off the top, right here, you guys can see there's the system. And then right off the top, you actually pull this box out. And this is a really big box. It's a Samurai. Really cool again. All the, uh, you know, just designs. But it's just funny, you have this giant box. I'll show you how tall this was and it just opens up like this all just to have the stand there now what I think this was designed for was I think at one time they were gonna put a physical copy deluxe edition you know with all that mapping and extra stuff of the game which in my opinion they should have I think it's really shitty they did I think they're trying to cut money but I think that's where the game would have been in there and you would have had your stand so it comes with a special stand. Uh, I don't know if there's anything really different about the stand. Doesn't look look to be, but this works with the Xbox One X. Um, so we are gonna use that for my son to stand it up. But yeah, again, I, I think there should have been the actual physical game, especially with this being the last set and the money you paid for this set at the time. I think it was like three, 400 bucks or something. So, we're gonna pull these off. And I'm gonna show you guys the system here. And this, the artwork in the system to me is just awesome. So, I don't know if it'll focus. I'm gonna see if it'll focus the best I can on everything. Very cool. It even makes up like a special sound when you boot it up. It's even got like little serial numbers and numbers in the game. I haven't got far enough in the game to know if some of these numbers are really significant. Um, there you have everything as far as your ports. I'm sure you guys already know. And these things are always beefy, man. These are the Xbox One X were heavy. Um, then you got the Samurai in the back here. And I believe there's something in here when you use a black light that you'll see. It. I can't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, that it pops in, and if you get, I gotta remember which way this goes. I believe it's just like this. Hold on, maybe it's backwards. There's little grooves in here for it, and I think it's this way. There we go, yep. So it just goes in there, you gotta kinda push hard and it slides forward and it sits up 
on there just like this so you guys can see that and again this system is just awesome to me it's a very good looking system artwork is great in the box very impressed with it I'll show you guys a little bit more of it standing and around but I am gonna put this back in there and put all its artwork back in Of course, we got the cables right there, and let's get this out of here. Yep. Oh, yes. Okay. So there's the controller. Cords. Game on the stand, or not game, sorry, game system on the stand. Look at that. Much better quality when I flip it around on this. Plus the lighting. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful looking system. Very cool if you're a fan of the game, even if you're not. Look at that on the stand. We'll turn it around. Look at that. Where's Johnny? <laughs> and then I'll hold the back of this controller so you guys can see. Again, does any significance to that QR code let me know if you guys know that would be kind of cool to see but yeah that's it I'll do unboxing the other ones in a different video so it's not all so long it's already a pretty long video with this but let me know what you guys think of the game so far after all the updates definitely interested I am enjoying it so far at first it was uh absolutely terrible because it was almost unplayable to me when you would get to certain points and it just looks and plays so much better now um uh, still wish they it was more next gen up to date and looked a little bit better than it does but i know they were working on this game for a long time so i get it i get a lot of the issues and things going on but uh, definitely happier with the game now but let me know what you think let me know if you have one of these xbox one x cyberpunk editions and what you guys think of it uh other than that guys have a good one youtube